my freaky darlings, and welcome to a game called Have a Nice Death. Uh, nice little content warning there. You might have to pause to read all of that. I am not convinced that this is not very loud, so I am going to turn the volume down just a smidge, and turn the volume down on my headset. So this is a hack and slash. It was it was released earlier this year, but I think I only got it during the summer sale. It was released in March. So... I can't wait to learn what this game's about. This looks fascinating. I love that the cursor is a little paper airplane. Poor little skeleton, so relatable. Oh. Hello, little pumpkin here. <laughs> Mood little pumpkin girl. That's a nice loading screen, just death in an elevator. <laughs> Death Incorporated Insight. For a long, long time, Death worked alone with no place to call home. Back then, he didn't even keep a log to track his victims. It was a time of adventure where the line between passion and professionalism was quite thinly drawn. Well, this changed when Death met Jacob and they realized they needed somewhere to house his colossal forge. Then they had to delegate to a handful of spectral staff using the cloak's power. The company first began to take shape in the crypt of an abandoned cathedral somewhere in Europe. Patrick's Guided Tours. You know, I just assumed the little pumpkin thing was a girl. It might not be a girl. I, I don't know what it is. So places... Uh, that's my stats, it looks like. Haha, <laughs> curses. Control room. Scythe. Map. <laughs> I have no map. Move the left button. Okay. <laughs> you can't just make it up as you go along, you know. We have a well-established procedure. What you have to do is... Oh, why it's the CEO himself. Excellent timing, sir. All hell's broken loose. Brad has decided to let all the souls in without proper inspection. All of our departments are overwhelmed as am I. Ugh. Try to argue with your associate sorrows, please. Welcome back, Mr. CEO, and have a nice death. <laughs> 
Haha. <laughs> I receptionist Patrick Thuggins <laughs> was the victim of a terrible prank at the company he worked at while he was alive. Blind as a bat, someone stole his glasses for a laugh, and poor old Patrick unwittingly overcooked his favorite dish at the company restaurant. He remembered to pierce the lid with a fork, but accidentally heated it in the nuclear reactor instead of the microwave. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's that's a little more than blind as a bat, Patrick. Oh my god! I, <laughs> there, there's so many. There's so many steps to that. I I, <laughs> I don't even know how that would logically come about. I- I'm in love with this already. <laughs> Hello. Okay, so- Hey, boss, so ready to get the death ink house in order? Just don't go spraining anything right at the start, hey? Yeah, uh, why are you completely and totally flayed? <laughs> ready for the warm-up? I want to hear those bones cracking! Chop, chop! Okay, so X is to swipe. Let's iron out the kinks in that clip. Chop chop. Uh, A button to jump onto the ledge. Cool, I got a double jump. Excellent, boss. We're not afraid of getting stung. Press the right trigger to go through. Yeah, speed! Personally, I'm gonna do a jump squat, but you take an effortless 3.0 with uh, L shift forward. It's the light beam. It's so easy to use with the lazy bones. <laughs> I am your boss. Here's Claudie's co. He he missed his leaving drinks, but don't let him go without a X. <laughs> Keep it up, boss. Lucky for Claude, he can't feel a thing. Okay, so down an L shift, or down L shift and X, there's other moves rather than just the simple swipe. Flexibility boss, to jump across these platforms, just press down shift and, uh, down L and A. Anyone can do it. There you go. Right button to enter a door. Take a deep breath, hold A, and right trigger. Okay, okay. What a great jump desk. <laughs> jump dash, perfect timing. Uh, L and X will get the climb done. Did you see that? You talk too fast. See that? That's really important. You can find gross solary all over the place. Pick it up. It's currency. Okay. Never forget, you love money! I mean, the, that's pretty much the whole point of CEOs. Come on, break the steel and get your weapon. We'll get that cloak of yours warmed up. Uh, you have to break the steel. How? And pick up the cloak using RB. You messed up. Oh, okay. That shape-shifting cloak is almost as supple as I am. Don't forget to use it with Y. Damn. Nice heavy attack. Watch out, boss, because at Death Inc. minion meetings are, uh, wild. Uh, try combos like X and Y. Okay. You believe it? That was wild. Strong and stupid. Have a nice fight, boss! I want to see death in all his glory! The 
trick is to uh, left trigger and L. Interesting. Uh, spooksmen. All multinationals have specific departments which are defined according to hierarchy. Ghosts, like all other employees and minions at Death Incorporated, have their superiors. They are known as the spooksmen to highlight their managerial qualities, namely violence and a complete lack of subtlety. <laughs> Ghosts are the very bottom of Death Inc.'s company hierarchy. These minions are more commonly referred to as de-seasonal workers who, like their colleagues created by the Sorrows, are not subject to Death Incorporated's a dead worker labor agreement. In that case, what are they even doing here? To boost numbers in all departments without exception. That sucks. You're injured, boss. Look, part of your HP has turned gray. Take this anima. Press the left button to heal you. <laughs> I love how I could just drink coffee as my idol. Consume an anima to heal your injuries. Injuries are the grayed out part of your HP. Make a note of that because it's important. What's more, you can only carry up to three at a time, but if your storage is full and you get a new one, there's no need to worry. They'll merge into a golden anima. And that's even better at healing. A golden anima heals your injuries and restores your missing HP. Quite effective. Excellent, boss. You've really shaped up. Well done. Let's not forget, though. So far, you've only trained with my friends. They've gone easy for you since they owe me a coffee. So from now on, it's the real thing. Keep your wits about you. Got that? Yes, yes, yes. Very well. Next time, we're going to skip the tutorial. Thank goodness. Yes, haha. <laughs> Give it all your boss. Give it your all, boss. Uh, great, great, great to the power of N, distant second cousin of death. Harriet could have taken up a similar career, but she instead opted to try her looks at the 2098 Extreme Olympic Games before passing away in a dramatic hang gliding javelin throwing competition. Where does she get all her energy from? Jerry claims she drinks really sugary coffee when nobody's looking, and Orville thinks she's propped up by cybernetic prosthesis that kick in when she starts to flag. Harriet has another explanation. Pure talent. How... Where would the cybernetics be? She... There's no skin. There's... No. <laughs> there, there's nothing to hide. The cybernetics. Hello. Oh, I can't destroy stuff. Hello. Flying book in sight. Insight, insight. Okay, dash, jump, cross, attack, charge attack. Oh! Alternative attacks and frenzy. <laughs> there we go. Flying book. Binders, paper charts, photo or. Photo organization charts, ancient folders, nothing escapes what Patrick calls the atrocious curse of bitter documentation, or ACBD for short. If a document isn't consulted often enough, it comes to life and takes vengeance for its neglect. And the pyro ghost. Ghosts are not usually capable of expressing emotions other than boredom or indifference, but there are some exceptions. For example, after repeating the same mundane tasks over and over again hundreds of times, they can begin to feel frustrated. This results in devastating flames erupting from their tired faces, which is never a good sign, magically speaking. <laughs> oh, this, uh...
Hello, boss fight. Nice, nice, nice. HR office T Hosha. <laughs> of course, they have to put an OSHA joke in here. Hello, Harriet. Don't forget, boss, each weapon or spell has a different frenzy. Left trigger and X or Y or B and BAM out come the big guns. Stop repeating everything Harriet is really getting on my nerves. I was there for the tutorial, remember? Yes, yes, you say that, but then you don't always listen. Nice. What is this? <laughs> Union protection temporarily increases defense. Nice. Jumped right into that. Hello. Fire arrow. Shoot a fireball. So during his studies at the old Cronell University where undead entities learned to bend space and time to their own will, Death picked up his first pit book in which he enters his arcane creations. The first of these concepts became the fire arrow spell. The spell really turns up the heat on the battlefield. Alright, so enemies. Oh, right. Uh, crow. Black feathery beasts with vicious tempers. These half macrame, half barbed fire bursts. Uh, well that wasn't what I wanted. Um, something popped up in front of my screen and that was just for me. Uh, these half macrame, half barbed wire birds could easily be mistaken for their earthly namesakes if they were only as smart as those in the land of the living. The ones that roam the grounds at Death Incorporated are in fact alarmingly stupid. <laughs> Hello? Mr. Osha. Oh sir, you finally decided to step out of your office. Work at Death Inc. goes on with or without you. I'll spare you my own thoughts on the matter. Your absence hasn't stopped the sorrows from going above and beyond. We've got our work cut out. Curses, for example, if you can remember. Assaulting an employee costs the company money. Minions, too, when it comes to it. Curses can help with that look. My axe. Uh, let's see. Incantatum. Or Encantum. Health sparkle. Let's do end my axe. Simple formality, gain a curse. Interesting. 
Unfortunately for you, I'm not paid to give advice. So curses grant you passive advantages. These are abilities that influence your gameplay. They are ranked in three categories in accordance with the main pillars of Death Incorporated's business philosophy. Red for daring, which relates to scythe and cloak attacks. Green for excellence, which involves spells and mana. And blue for innovation, which has to do with useful matters like healing, defense, etc. Curses are categorized by rarity, index, common, uncommon, rare, epic, and legendary. Uh, oops. Uh... Place your curse tree from 1 to 6. You can choose to specialize in a single curse color or mix it up. Both will have significant repercussions on your score appraisal. Watch out, some curses come with penalty, which is the cost to pay for a good skill. Interesting. deposit I like this boss fight is more like an enemy rush. Alright, uh, let's see, what's my anima? Curses control room map, the handbook. Okay, uh, turn a mana. Take. Uh, this arcane substance maintains the balance between all and the abyss, between matter and energy, a long winded way to say that it allows experienced spellcasters to use even more complicated incant incantations. I can't words. It's a pure source of mana. Thirsty. Temporarily gain lifesteal. Perfect for my little vampire sale. I think for this first video, we're gonna go to the red. We're gonna go to the red dot. I need to adjust my screen, I think. But I'll have to do that next time. Oh, I can take any of these down, I guess. Except for now. like that. Hello.
<laughs> be it mana or vita mana. <laughs> vita mana or equipment storage. Hmm. Hmm, what should I go to? I think maybe, uh, Vitamana. Hello, Harriet. Watch out, boss action, reaction, it's me again! Oh, Harriet, I thought I'd gotten rid of you. Don't look so down, boss, you'll love what I'm about to tell you. You've earned a golden anima. Fantastic! Yes, yes, I know. Golden animas give you pure heal, they heal injuries, and they restore full HP, yada yada yada. Yes, but you will have noticed that when you already have three blue animas, the next one you collect will fuse with them to become gold. Pro tip boss, a little press of LB to consume a blue one, a long press to console <laughs> to consume a golden one, both supple and strong. Okay. Okay. Took me a minute to get it, but I got it. I like how there's a record scratch whenever you get hit. Item. Uh, and creatures increases max HP by 10 and grants you a pure heal of 10 HP. Uh, pure life force kept pressurized for safety reasons normally. It is meticulously stored in containers that are regularly maintained by the technical department. But ever since the sorrow stampede, anybody can find themselves with an extended health point bar. It's a sensitive topic. <laughs> I assume uh, does the same thing, but for mana. Hello. <laughs> Next floor is the shop. Good. I need it. I need a shop. Cause I think the red floor is a boss. Uh, what weapon would you like to f sell? I don't want to sell. Ooh, it is truly a pleasure to see you again, boss. They've made an awful mess up here, haven't they? Take some guts to get involved, I'll say that much. Anyway, perhaps you'd like to browse my wares as a little distraction. Mayhaps. <laughs> Food truck driver, company snack manager. When he was alive, Mark used to work on a cool TV show bringing science to the masses. That's where he developed his particularly friendly way of talking to his customers. He drove the truck that served as a backdrop to the show. It was a funny guy who was always ready with a wink and a joke or two. Uh. Whizlock Barrage. I'm not trying to buy that. I'm trying to. 
Shop inflation. Invest at a premium. Shop could do with a bit of a boost. Invest a prismium in order to improve and get additional and higher quality merch. The, the upgrade lasts for the duration of the game. Okay. Sure, I guess. Healing orb, one charge. Oh, Shaw memo. How delightful it contains one curse. Oh, I don't have enough. Hello. Mm hmm. Yeah, good day to you too, Claude. Uh, uh -huh. mm -hmm. Listen, please accept my humblest apologies. I didn't know the tutorial procedure had changed. It was degrading for you. Quite. <laughs> yes. I'm not sure if a leotard is the best solution here, but it's very good of you to take it in such good humor, though. <laughs> When he was alive, Claude Isco worked as a credit analyst for a small company that made stage costumes. Its biggest client was a drag queen production company. And after 30 years of loyal accounting service, far removed from the glitz and glamour, Claude ended up passing away during his very own retirement party. The mirror ball hanging over the dance floor came loose and landed smack bang in the middle of his skull. Nowadays, his grave is a constant wash of hundreds of colors and his epitaph a perfect reflection of who he was. May you find your way to Paradisco. Some of these are, at the same time, funny. Some of them are a little more tragic than others. This one is actually kind of sweet. It's sad that he died during his retirement party, but... It seems like people loved him. Security station. Brad. Let's see how I do, because I've been, uh, not doing great on my heels. Hall of Eternity. Understandably, the Hall of Eternity makes an appearance in a lot of earthly folklore because it marks the entrance to the immaterial world of the great beyond. Of course, after eons of war, pandemics, and all sorts of catastrophes on the surface, it has lost some of its shine. Not that death cares a one jot about that. As far as he's concerned, the hall looks exactly as you'd expect it to. A functional space in which to carry out administrative work. Boss, boss, before your uh, interview with Brad, you have to hear me out. It's very important. Surely you notice that when you eliminate some certain minions, you collect an animal orb? Yes, animals heal my injuries, blah, blah, blah. I'm not completely senile yet. Hey, don't take it the wrong way, please. We're just covering our bases. As we were saying, animals heal your injuries, and injuries are the grayed out part of your HP, see? Thanks, Harriet. I got it. I can handle it from here. As you wish, the ball's in your court, boss. Yeah, uh... Hi, Brad. Yeah! What the hell is happening here, Brad? Where did all these souls come from? What's it to you? Who are you anyway with your mummified Booma face? Ooh. Yep. Burnout died once. <laughs> Rest in paperwork. Unlocks bleed curses. Nice. So we obviously have to get past Brad. Hello. <laughs> okay, there was an insight that I missed. Where is it? Nope. Death, there we go. 
CEO and co-founder of Death Incorporated, this entity was created from the deepest void and the person known as Death has been around since the dawn of time. Many people suggest that such a role may be better attributed, <laughs> attributed to a woman. However, in keeping with the usual interpretation of the character in popular fiction, Death prefers to identify as a man. His work and the universe started out as a small family business, peacefully reaping soul after soul in the time-honored tradition of ancient passing rites. Those were the good old days. Back then, Death didn't worry so much about mundanity such as turnover or outsourcing. <laughs> CEO's office. Where it all ends. This is or this is the nickname Death Inc.'s employees have bestowed upon the CEO's office. Despite the countless number of complex criteria, customer souls have to meet uh, to have a nice death. The final decision ultimately belongs to Death himself. He has to give his authorization, approving their damnation with his enchanted seal, and muttering a short, solemn phrase that is known to him and him alone. But recently, monotony has crept into the usual protocol. What is this? Oh, hi. Pop Quinn. Boss, oh boss, I'm pleased to see you. And you've got your pit book with you. Isn't it adorable? Did you know your pit book notes everything down for you? Just press uh, the start button and you're done. It really is very cute, but uh, I don't really like the way it's looking at me. <laughs> Ever since childhood, Pump has been a big fan of Death's career. Their room at their parents' house is plastered with posters of Death Inc.'s founder at the height of his power. It also contains a collection of merchandise of all types, from the most common to rarest of limited edition collector's items. They are a weeb for me. A graduate of the Sepulchral School of Eternal Vanity Management, SSEVM, Pump has their sights set on an internship at Death Inc. thanks to a lot of determination and insistence. They found a place managing the agenda of death himself. This news made it in the s <laughs> made it the second greatest day of their non-life. They are adorable. I would I love them. I would die for them. What is this? Oh, upgrade tree. And my axe. Hello, who are you? Boss, 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 good morning or good evening, whatever not important. The sorrows are out of control. Quotas have risen astronomically. I'll spare you the details. You got a few ingots to spend. Let's do this real quick before I kick the bucket. And oh, how's you? How's the family? How's life? <laughs> Turning a profit. Reach the maximum discount level on an item at Joe's. Uh, so. Oh, I can spend kind of a lot. Cash equals money. Unlock your first item at Joe's. Uh, okay. So. Roll on, baby. We produce what you order. So, manager and score a appraisal. Each time you explore the company, it grants you different performance-based bonuses that you can review in your score appraisal at the end of the game. You can also earn precious ingots to invest with Joe. Uh, Death Inc.'s manager to unlock new weapons, consumables for the shop, snacks in the break room fridge, and even juicier contracts from Jocelyn. We haven't met Jocelyn yet. You can also make good deals by meeting certain conditions specified in the menu and see the new, uh, uh, see the price of items for sale. Nice guy, that Joe. Uh, this is what happens when you drink too much black coffee. In fact, the coffee Joe <laughs> drinks is now so strong it once got him in a chokehold. Not the coffee itself, of course, but rather the sugar lump he likes to dip in it to warm himself up. Since he's incapable of focusing on anything for longer than a second, he accidentally mixed up his usual cube of sugar with a stock cube that expired three years ago. Food poisoning will get you. Uh, Tony O'Sha has never once smiled in his whole life. I believe that. And he's not about to start now. Well, okay, he does smile sometimes, but only on those rare occasions where his natural cynicism bears witness to the irony of a truly scathing situation. Like when a colleague finds themselves locked in the copy room for days. Hello, who are you? Hang on, what is that? Surprise, Mr. CEO, sir. I'm delighted to announce that Miss Muriel the Revenant is working on an evolving pictorial series. Come now, and did Muriel provide any information about, hmm, her work? Ah, yes, of course, Mr. CEO. This time her subject is uh, the onerousness of work. Apparently she was inspired by your brush with burnout. 
it was me. The more difficult it is, the more epic and representative the hard work you do her creations become. This is the Breakdown series. Note here the contrast between the richness of the sculpted altar and the simplicity of this barely scribbled upon post-it. Fascinating. <laughs> Each time you successfully complete a run, you will be given the chance to turn the difficulty up a notch. This will take the form of pictures created by Muriel the Revenant, the artist you're sponsoring. Each difficulty is ranked by breakdown number. Imminent breakdown is basic difficulty. will break down one. will be more challenging, so on and so forth, needless to say. Uh, is that 15? Breakdown 15 is quite something. And... One reserved for only the most enthusiastically insane employees. Don't panic, you can choose self-fulfillment in easy mode, so you've got some breathing room. <laughs> oh my god, I love it. Oh, hello. So I can't use this yet? Oh, this is Jocelyn. Hi. Pause. I sure am glad to see you again. Yes, yes, it's so nice to catch up, but let's get the small talk, shall we? In accordance with bulletin B66, you may not access the elevator until you sign a form. Don't make that face rules or rules, so let's go. Choose your contract. Joe's new stuff, or take it or leave it. Let's get Joe some new stuff. The doors will open in five seconds. Four, three, Okay, nice signature. Hmm. The elevator even has music. <laughs> Offers you can't refuse. Before launching an assault on the sorrows, Jocelyn requires a few administrative formalities. If you wish, you can choose at least one contract among four offered. Each contract imposes certain constraints, conditions that must be met during your time with the company. Fulfilling a contract grants you a bonus or, in the opposite case, inflicts a penalty. All information is on the sheet. Depending on your level, Jocelyn can offer up to four contracts, but you can only take three at most. Jocelyn is open to negotiation and in exchange for a few ingots, she'll be happy to renew her offers. Alright, and that's a... Uh... That is a key for <laughs> the things that we can get. Hello? Indeed, the data was reset to zero. Oh, I'm sorry, Patrick. There's not much I can do. You can't help me, but but why not? Joe really is the one to ask, but I suspect it's because the boss had a falling out with Brad. Can't think of what else it could be. Yes, Brad's been letting souls in willy-nilly right after their meeting. The counter span ran out of the control and started smoking, and now here we are. Everything's at zero. That'll be the factory settings. One of the parts of the build, 5.2.0, oh, it resets itself to zero. I wanted 5.2.1, but Joe said it was too expensive. Too bad. But Orvi, you have to repair it. The counter was at- Oh, I don't know anymore. It would be a disaster if we lost track of all our quotas. I know, I know it's a rotten business, but there's nothing I can do. You mustn't say that. Come on, kiddo, it's obvious. There was a conflict of interest between the higher-ups and Brad. He was right not to let it go that easily. He could have gone about it less forcefully, though. He could have split his skull and scalped off his rocky fists. Yeah, okay, you're right. He could have asked me first. I wouldn't have done any harm to send a quick email and follow it up with the General Assembly. <laughs> also corporate.
<laughs> Intriguing floor. Beginner's dexterity assignment, don't get hit, go. Fail, you're too nervous. Yeah, that makes sense. some paperwork. Well, this has gone on uh, past 45 minutes, so I'm not sure how many good videos I can make out of this. I'm definitely going to have to uh, do much more editing. But this is fun. This is so fun. I... I suck at that. <laughs> I love that stupid jingle. <laughs> this is this is fun. I love it. Hi. My cat decided to say hi while I was doing the uh, the ending bits. So I am going to go ahead and call it here. But I will see you all in the next video. Bye.